Pulmonary Mucormycosis, Review, Thoracic Masterclass. Pulmonary mucormycosis is an uncommon but life-threatening opportunistic fungal infection. The incidence of pulmonary mucormycosis has been reported to be up to 24% among all cases of mucormycosis, but it may be underestimated that due to the difficulties in diagnosis, this infection has a high mortality between 40-76%, to and carries substantial morbidity in most cases, due to rapid local progression, and the prominent and angular invasion. Taxonomy the fungi that of course muca are commonly found on decaying food, soil, and any animal excrements, sinus and lung infection occur by inhalation, and the position of the spores in these tissues, cutaneous infection can occur, when there is disruption of the skin in the case of burns or trauma. Epidemiology, the most common site of infection is rhinocerebral, cutaneous, lung, disseminated, and gastrointestinal tract. The risk factors for mucormycosis include uncontrolled diabetes mellitus, hematological malignancy, stem cell transplant, solid organ transplant, neutropenia, defroxamine therapy, prolonged antibiotics use and corticosteroids, renal failure, prolonged post-operative course, presentation of pulmonary muca. Pulmonary mucormycosis occurs due to the inhalation of fungi spores into the bronchioles and alveoli which typically results in the rapid progression of pneumonia, or endobronchial disease. Symptoms of pulmonary mucormycosis are typically nonspecific, even at the late stages of infection, and may include fever, shortness of breath, coughing, and chest pain. Hemoptysis commonly occurs with vascular invasion, which can occasionally be fatal. Rare cases can present as progressive subcutaneous emphysema, and cost syndrome, Horner syndrome, or chronic mediastinitis, and bronchial perforation, rarer, results include endobronchial lesion, and complications associated with airway occlusion. Diagnosis, imaging features, biopsy via bronchoscopy, or CT-guided percutaneous needle biopsy, quantitative polymerase chain reaction demonstrating circulating mucorallus DNA, has been shown to be an effective method for revealing because my causes in patients with cutaneous, rhinocerebral, pulmonary, and disseminated forms. Pulmonary muca usually present with non-specific radiological features such as, consolidation, which can be lower, segmental, unilateral, or bilateral, pulmonary nodule or mass, cavitary lesion. City scan feature, and reverse halo sign, which is defined as a ground glass lesion with a peripheral rim of consolidation, while most fungal pneumonia she was on a specific signs at imaging. The reverse halo sign has been shown to be a specific sign of mucormycosis, occurring in 19% and up to 94% of patients with pulmonary muca. Differential diagnoses include organizing pneumonia, pulmonary infarction, and lung cancer. The clinical context should help differentiate these entities. Most patients with pulmonary muca have some form of immunodeficiency. In addition, it shows relatively rapid progression at serial chest radiography compared with these other entities. Management Address the underlying predisposing factor for infection, and treatment may include control of blood sugar levels, treatment of metabolic acidosis, or tapering of immunosuppressive agents, medical therapy, the use of liposomal amphotericin B. Other new agents include posaconazole and isovaconazole. Surgery is recommended for patients with localized disease and results in improved outcomes compared with in those treated with antifungal therapy alone. Surgery is usually reserved for patients with unifocal disease, and can consist of wedge resection, lobectomy, or pneumonectomy. Surgery for bilateral disease is uncommon, but has been shown to be effective for source control. Other adjuvant therapies that has been proposed includes interferon gamma, and, or granulocyte macrophage colony stimulating factor, and hyperbaric oxygen therapy.